Drone footage of a single Russian tank engaging an armored Ukrainian column was recently published on the internet. And by watching the video, it appears that the tank managed to neutralize Ukrainian tanks and other armored vehicles with some support. While that is partially true, it's not really the case. This video is a different point of view of the footage we saw back in June, and by combining the two videos, we get a somewhat full picture of what is happening. First of all, the tank is not technically alone. The two guys we hear talk in the video call for ATGM, SPG-9, NSV heavy machine gun and AGS grenade launchers to engage the enemy column. So we know for a fact that there are at least several different types of heavy weapons covering the area. And during the actual combat, it also appears that the artillery is engaging the column as well. Now, did the Russian tank actually destroy the Ukrainian tanks? Well, from what we can see on the footage, not really. If we compare the two videos, we will see that the first explosion is the Ukrainian tank exploding. The Russian tank takes the first shot several seconds after that, and we can see that the other Ukrainian tank does not get hit when that happens. I forgot to mention that the Ukrainian tanks in question are T-64BV tanks, based on the earlier video. The Russian tank appears to be some T-80 model, based on the fast reverse speed, but it is impossible to tell which exact model it is because of the quality. The other Ukrainian tank appears to be operational, but damaged. We see it turn the turret several times, but it is not moving at all. Now, it is not clear if the Russian tank engaged the Ukrainian tank later on, since we do run out of the top view footage. The guys behind the drone get told that there are three Ukrainian tanks that ran over mines. I don't know if they didn't see properly, or if they are talking about some completely different tanks, but the guys say that they should be destroyed with ATGMs so they cannot be recovered. But the ATGM operator tells them that he is out of missiles. If those are the same tanks, that would mean that ATGM was indeed engaging the column. Even though we aren't really sure if the Russian tank destroyed one of the Ukrainian ones, one thing is certain, the tank commander and the entire crew did a good job. Moving, changing positions, etc. They actually did some proper maneuvering, which probably saved their lives. Overall, pretty decent performance from them. I've seen some people wondering why the Russian tank retreated and then came back multiple times during the engagement. Several things are possible. They might have been engaged by a small arms fire or something similar, deciding to completely lose the enemies and then come back once the enemy has completely lost them. Or they wanted to pull back and maybe someone notified them that the Ukrainian tanks are neutralized, since the guy behind the drone does mistakenly believe that, and reports that on the radio. This could have prompted the tank to come back to deal with the soft targets, since the biggest threat has been taken care of. But who knows, I'm just purely guessing here. Sadly, we do not know what the fate of the Russian tank is. The video cuts during the third push, and we do not know if it continued engaging whatever was left of the column, or did they get hit or destroyed. What is the fate of the crew? We don't know anything, and since it has been over a month since then, I don't think we actually will get to know their fate. Russians usually make videos of some generals or government officials rewarding soldiers for propaganda purposes, obviously, but we have not seen anything related to this event. Maybe they will go public now since the video got a lot of traction, but we will see. If I find anything, I will let you all know. That would be all. If you like my content, you can support me on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.